This is a fast exam and a couple things I want to point out. Uh, first off, this is your right upper quadrant and to me, you're either angling the probe towards the sky or you're too anterior. You don't get much of the base of the spine, you don't get the diaphragm here. And so because of that, to me, this is indeterminate. I don't think you can say this is negative for free fluid. To me, I just think it's a limited study. This here, I think, is your left uh, upper quadrant, and I agree there's no free fluid here, but what's really interesting is if you look at the lungs, there is concern for a fair amount of bee lines. Now, I'm not sure if this is pulmonary edema, is this a pleural, is this a contusion um, because of the irregular pleura, is this pneumonia? Um, this is definitely why I like to see the lungs because this would be concerning um, in a, any patient, but also in the trauma patient. Last thing, and I know that this was a fast exam, so really the question was, was there fluid around the heart, like a pericardial fusion? There's not based on this view, but I just wanted to illustrate that you have a really nice uh, view here that illustrates that the left atrium is pretty dilated. Just look how large this is compared to the right, and it's pretty much the same size as the left ventricle. So to me, I think not only is the EF a little decreased, um, like you saw on the previous clip here, but also I think there are signs of diastolic uh, dysfunction. And sorry, I went back too many clips. This is where I want you to see. Yeah, to me it looks like the EF has decreased. And then if you look at the other clip there, there's also a dilated left atrium, which to me shows signs of diastolic dysfunction. So again, the main take home points. Uh, one, the right upper quadrant was limited to me. The left lung it, it was concerning for either a pulmonary contusion or um, volume overloaded. And then finally on echo, I think you do have signs of a dilated left atrium, which is a concern for diastolic dysfunction. Hope this video helps and if you have any questions, thanks for saving.